गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू लाइव स्ट्रीम द शो दैट गेट्स यू द बिगेस्ट स्टोरीज ऑफ द डे द न्यूज दैट यू नीड टू नो ओवर द नेक्स्ट हाफ आवर आर रिपोर्टर्स विल गेट यू द स्टोरीज द रियल स्टोरीज बिहाइंड द हेडलाइंस एंड टेल यू जस्ट हाउ दीज इम्पैक्ट योर लाइफ एंड योर वॉइसिस ऑन द शो एज वेल लेट्स बिगिन विद आर लीड स्टोरी टू नाइट For some time now huge traffic jams have been bringing traffic to a standstill in large parts of North India as groups of pilgrims of Lord Shiva known as Kavariyas pass through the capital and the neighboring areas in the last few days this hasn't just been about traffic gridlocks it's about groups of saffron clad pilgrims literally overrunning the streets with their rowdy behavior what you're seeing on your screens right now are latest visuals from UP's eastern UP's Muzaffarnagar area where uh, pilgrims attacked a car yet again this has become a constant motif really it's happened here in the national capital it's happened in bulandshahar in uttar pradesh and now in these visuals that you're seeing from muzaffarnagar the latest incident the third incident that we've reported on in 3 days but there've been many many others as well just surrounding a car we don't know what the provocation was but literally surrounding it smashing its uh, windshields dragging it for some distance and uh, absolute chaos on the roads can this be in service to god can anything really justify these random acts of violence well let's uh, show you these visuals from bulandshahar now across large parts of india visuals like these have been triggering utter outrage what you see here is a police vehicle being attacked This is uh, one of the dial 100 uh, vehicles of the Uttar Pradesh uh, police. You see a group of Kamariyas, or at least people dressed in saffron, in the usual garb of the Kamariyas, who seem to have gone absolutely berserk. They charge and attack the UP police's dial 100 vehicle. In fact, the police personnel in the van actually have to start running in order to save their lives from this angry mob. Now you might well ask what the police is doing in the face uh, of all of this well apparently they are greeting these kamariyas with flowers wherever they go as they enter cities along the yatra route the police greeting them with uh, flowers and uh, there's apparently also a formal directive from the state government to make sure kamariyas have all facilities and are welcomed wherever they go Well it was perhaps these visuals that have actually triggered maximum outrage just from a couple of days or so ago when a top UP official the ADG of Meerut in fact was uh, undertaking an aerial survey of his district and actually showering flower petals from above on the kawariyas below when asked just uh, why uh, an officer in uniform ought to be doing this he said uh, this was not just for a particular community or a particular region all uh, uh, pilgrims were greeted in such a manner of course we've never seen an instance quite like this in the past but then that's what this man had to say in his defense but it wasn't just him Uh, just take a look at these visuals in fact various departments of the uttar pradesh police have uh, um, all have their own individual twitter handles and all of them have been tweeting these photographs of how they have been welcoming these uh, pilgrims this for instance is from the ghaziabad the police's handle as it were and it talks about how the ghaziabad police welcomed the pilgrims as they entered their area and it's not just about floral welcomes uh, have a look here's an officer once again in uniform actually performing seva as it were bandaging the foot of a kavariya who is apparently injured well if only our uh, police officers uh, were this solicitous with anybody in need anybody in need of a helping hand not just pilgrims in the service of lord shiva Well before we go into uh, the criminality of these acts should all pilgrims be tarred with the same brush or are thugs taking over the kavar yatra as it were my colleague saurabh shukla spoke to some of the pilgrims who were absolutely peaceful themselves and asked them what they felt about 
they, uh, this violence? Did they feel that, in fact, this was reflecting on them in any way? Well, one person said, well, tempers are lost. These things happen. Let's listen. आपको लगता है कि जो कुछ कावड़िये जो हैं बदमाशी करते हैं मारपीट करने लग जाते हैं चोट मोटी करते हैं वो आप जैसे लोग जो सच्चे भक्त हैं उनका नाम खराब करते हैं आये वो कुछ हो जाता है कई बार दिक्कत हो जाती है कई है कोई फायदा नहीं देता है कोई बत्तीबीजी बोल जाता है कोई खड़ाकर वाले को करने पड़ते हैं उन्हें मजबूरी पड़ जाती है उन्हें मजबूरी पड़ जाती है बोलने का करने के लिए कि उन्हें कोई फायदा नहीं देगा उन्हें जाने ही निकल गए दौड़ते हुए कई हो जाती है कोई कोई बत्तीबीजी कर देते कई कई लोग हो जाता है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप लोगों का नाम खराब होता है जो ऐसे कोशिश तो काम वो पालन भी नहीं होता मतलब कानूनी ऐसी थोड़ा हमारे ऐसी बना पड़ा हुआ है और सुधार भी मतलब कुछ तो ऐसी होता है काम मतलब गर्फी आ रहे नाक है फिर आपने जलाल चढ़ा दिया मैं नाह दो के आ रहे हैं आराम कहाँ से कहाँ से जल दिया था मैंने लिया था हर की पौड़ी से हाँ कितने किलोमीटर वो ही लग गया कम से कम तीन चार पांच दिन में लग गया। Well, it's uh, not just uh, in the villages of Uttar Pradesh. Look at these visuals uh, of what happened here in the national capital. Uh, this was an incident that took place in the Moti Nagar area of Delhi. Policemen ostensibly surveying the deployment of troops after Kamaria's turned violent in Delhi and smashed windows of a car with passengers still inside. The police were present even at this point. They did very little to stop the mayhem. What you're seeing is about a dozen Kamaria's smashing the windows of a car with sticks and then tipping it over as people stand by helplessly without stopping them. This car had apparently allegedly brushed past one of them on a road in Motinagar and that's what angered them enough uh, to carry out. This attack. Well, uh, my colleague Nibisha spoke uh, uh, to the DCP and spokesperson of the Delhi Police, Madhur Verma. Here's what he said. With me is DCP Madhur Verma, who's also the spokesperson of the Delhi Police. Sir, I have to start with asking about the Modi Nagar incident. Has that raised concerns about a peaceful journey being created? Of course, like you said, close to a lakh cowards go through, and many of them do end up acting violent. Uh, Delhi Police goes for elaborate uh, arrangement for uh, facilitation as well as security of the cowards and for the uh, for the uh, general uh, commuters who are travelling on these roads. We ensure that there is enough deployment on the road. Our traffic police personnel are present to facilitate the movement to, and to, uh, also to facilitate the movement of commuters at the time of Kavar Yatra. It's an uh, uh, it's, it's more than a 10 days uh, old phenomena uh, where uh, are these uh, uh, people bringing these uh, who are doing this Kamar Yatra are coming and crossing Delhi and some of them are also uh, are, 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 are have to reach their homes in a, within, within a time frame. However, last uh, couple of days uh, before uh, today's um, uh, Mahashivratri, there is uh, uh, dark covered which uh, in which there is uh, where, where, where those persons who are traveling on bikes or uh, vehicles or trucks have to reach to their destinations in a hurried way. So th that uh, further adds to the challenge. But uh, Delhi police, like every year, uh, tries and uh, make sure that there is least inconvenience to the commuters. And uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, Kamar Yatra is also ends up peacefully. All right, Nimisha joining us at this point with the latest on that story. Nimisha, uh, you know, we heard that response, of course, from the Delhi police. But now as these visuals from elsewhere in Uttar Pradesh also uh, come in, Bulan Shahar on our screens right now, also Muzaffar Nagar, where uh, uh, another car has been attacked uh, just today. Um, does the police have a concrete plan to sort of, you know, sort out the law and order aspect of this situation without tarring all pilgrims, all Kavariyas with the same brush. Obviously, there is a serious law and order threat here. Sanjay Lankata, the police also told me about, at least in Delhi, what exactly are the measures that are, they're, they're taking in addition. Uh, over 3,000 to 4,000 additional troops have been deployed, they're telling me. But I was also told that there's actually CCTV coverage, three to four CCTV cameras in each coward camp, and that there have been meetings in each coward camp across Delhi, and that they have uh, so-called informers or coordinators 
volunteers who are powers themselves who inform the police one of the hesitations i noticed is that the police was always painting miscreants as people who are outsiders who might be dressed up in the guise of powers to have an excuse to disturb the law and order position the delhi police is asserting that they have already taken action against some such miscreants and that they have uh, uh, picketed areas and uh, charged people who are uh, violating traffic violations they also asserted that they do not hesitate to take legal action against anybody who they find evidence is breaking the law even if they're amongst the ranks of the siyasa however of course we saw what happened in motinagar two policemen were standing by and unless there's a larger deployment this is going to continue being a concern because two people cannot possibly intervene when there's such a large mob that has become violent the need for more deployment is something which people on the streets of delhi have also been telling me about there were many students i spoke to who said that they don't feel safe going through certain areas because they do feel some uh, they do feel some people in the yatra take advantage and might be lured or jeering and other people also said that apart from traffic concerns there's been drunken misbehavior there've been uh, risks because people uh, kind of uh, spread out all over the street but locals are terrified of actually touching accidentally any of these cars i spoke to some people earlier today and this is what they had to tell me all right let's have a look at that Close to a lakh cars passed through Delhi in the last 10 days according to the Delhi police the Delhi police claims that they have made adequate arrangements but locals are not so sure with me are some residents of Delhi sir how has the yatra affected your uh, commute your daily experience in Delhi have you been disturbed at all yes uh, a lot you know we uh, are traveling from areas like east delhi gaziabad so there is uh, camping of uh, no coveries over there and uh, uh, we used to take somewhere close to 45 minutes to uh, it was a travel time between gazibad to uh, southern uh, places but now it is taking somewhere close to 1 hour 30 minutes so time has almost doubled and uh, is a sheer waste of uh, uh, fuel and uh, time of course not only we have traffic time basically uh, so many schools are closed and uh, educational bachche hain with nahi pad pa rahe hain utna छुट्टी हो रही है एक एक हफ्ते की छुट्टी हुई है जो एन सी आर अफेक्टेड एरियाज हैं ये वाले ड्यू टू दिस आई थिंक सो मच ऑफ लॉस टूअर्ड होल द सिस्टम जर्नी पुलिस पुलिस इज मैनेजिंग um no we all have witnessed a recent case in motinagar as we have all witnessed so somewhere in our mind actually we are actually fearing that idea you know of moving out of our places so that is still stuck in our mind i mean i don't think that ccd will work police would have uh, you know done something much more better to actually uh, get the things done in time but so like like we were talking about this is a religious journey many people have been doing this since many years uh, you know uh, and this is a, a, a sign of devotion how do you think the delhi police can improve this while letting devotees do what they what they need to maybe deploying more police force in the uh, in the streets uh, prior that there should be proper planning strategy uh, which delhi police can do actually uh, so that will uh, ease out the things for us and in terms of behavior sir what do you think can be done to make sure that people are participating in a peaceful manner so i think uh, some camps uh, you know need to be arranged before the these uh, yatras you know so that people are aware online uh, you know uh, say campaigning should be done to avoid such kind of havocs which are uh, you know happening these days so these i, I believe these uh, things should work